After weeks and weeks of raining, and I'm not just saying raining like two or three drops, no, raining, uh, heavy raining, today was and still is a good day, a uh, sunny day, and that's why we try to profit from it. And um, we started visiting some places from uh, Bucharest, and we start with uh, the uh, natural park. Uh, called uh, Vakarest, which is in uh, uh, in the south part of Bucharest, and here it's a natural park, it's very similar with uh, the Danube uh, Delta, because uh, Nicolae Ceausescu wanted to make here a reservation uh, for people to visit, basically like a delta in the middle of the city. <music> After the hand of man stopped taking care of this place uh, due to the revolution, uh, Mother Nature took over and now in this place there is a big, big biodiversity, very similar with uh, the biodiversity that you are going to find in uh, the Delta. And of course, I'm not going to go down there because we are not equipped to go uh, down there. Uh, there are a lot of, you know, of snakes, a lot of things that maybe can hurt you. Uh, and we just wanted to take a stroll uh, around it uh, and uh, for me to try to maybe capture some videos with a drone unfortunately I'm not uh, uh, that sure that I'm going to be able to film everything, anything with the drone but uh, at least we were able to get a little bit outside and also to go uh, <laughs> to feel a little bit in nature even if we are in the middle of the city <laughs> Our next stop is going to be uh, the Children's City. It's a big uh, park uh, where there are a lot of attractions and a lot of games and a lot of uh, playgrounds for the children in order for them to <laughs> enjoy, enjoy themselves. Oh,
cool thing about this amusement park, this kids town, uh, this park, is uh, that uh, near it, I mean connected with it actually, it's another park called the Youth Park, a big, big park with a uh, big lake, with uh, turtles uh, and with other uh, wildlife. city in Bucharest. I, uh, we've been here before, I shown you a little bit uh, of the surroundings. And we want to go uh, in a very cool shop, a shop with field, with books, to try to, to find something that uh, uh, for us, for me to read the next because I finished a uh, book and uh, I need to read. to decide also to read it you're going to understand how to overcome your negativity how to stop overthinking how to use your fear for your benefit and also how to find your purpose and why kindness is crucial to your success in think like a monk jay shetty shares with us his life story he talks about uh, the life that he had before he became a monk, why he became a monk, his time at the monastery and his uh, monk life, and also the moments that uh, happened after he left the monastery. And with every chapter, you're going to find there a lesson that you can learn from. And the book is not just theory or an autobiography, no, no, here you are going to find a lot of practical exercises that you can implement in your life. At the end of every chapter, you are going to find there an exercise that you should do, an exercise that is going to help you be a better version of yourself. Like with the chapter about negativity, there Jay Shetty talks about how you should write to yourself uh, or record yourself sharing with you why you should forgive yourself for. My key takeaways from this book, I must say, that were on the lines of how you should detach from everything that is happening in your life and also how your ego is keeping you small, how your ego is actually keeping you from learning, from growing and from changing. And it's keeping you from having the opportunities that you deserve. 
Another key takeaway that I took from this book, I must say that was uh, regarding the fact that you shouldn't judge the moment. What I mean by this is that uh, we should be neutral to everything that is happening in our life, good or bad. And uh, I know uh, you also gone through this, something bad happened to you and in that moment you were very sad, maybe angry, maybe frustrating and you couldn't believe that that was happening to your life and also you couldn't believe that why it should happen to you. But after that, after maybe months or even years, you saw looking back at that particular moment that, that maybe that moment was the best thing that happened in your life. Maybe that moment that you believe that in the beginning was worst, was the, the worst thing that could have happened to you was in fact something very good that happened to you. These are just some ways in which this book has impacted me. Most likely, if you're going to read it, it's going to impact you in a different way. And I also advise you to do it, to read it, because it's not just a spiritual book. No, it also has a lot of productivity hacks, a lot of ways in which this book can help you with. And also, you're going to find here another video of mine where I talked about uh, depression, about uh, why you are depressed or why we are, you are feeling depressed. And also, I was in that video visiting uh, a very cool uh, park near Bucharest. And until next time, don't forget, you're amazing.